Thursday night brought the most drama that we've seen at the Mecca as the Big East men's basketball tournament rolled on. And what a finish we had in the final game of the day. And it took until we got into Friday morning, but it's Xavier 167 to 61. Into overtime it went, and what a win. Three players scoring 13 points. I'm John Fanta alongside Kim Adams to recap it all on the BEDN. And Kim, Xavier finds a way. They had to rally to do it, but what a win by Chris Mack's team. Exactly. They found a way. Butler was really in control for this entire game leading up to overtime. I think Xavier had only led for about a minute and a half before they sent it into overtime. So really it just came down to some big plays in overtime. We saw D. Davis and Jalen Reynolds get some early three-point plays. Right into overtime they just had the momentum, they had the energy, and they got some big stops defensively. And like you said, five players in double figures, D. Davis, Miles Davis, and Matt Stainbrook all with 13. So it really just came down to wanting it more, executing better. But we do have to tip our hats to Butler. They played a phenomenal game. Alex Barlow had a career night. What a run it was for them, and hopefully we'll see them in the tournament as well. And to go more into that, this is your senior year. So how special is this win for you tonight? Well, I mean, it's against a, a sort of a hometown team in, in Butler from Indianapolis, being from Bloomington. So, I mean, it means a lot. You know, I got friends that went to Butler, still have friends on Butler. So I'll be sure to uh, wish them good luck for the future in the tournament. And I think Butler led for probably 80% of that game. How were you guys able to just keep fighting and get the game back tied to send it into overtime? Um, the best part was that we had we do this thing called four minute wars. So like each four minutes, we figure out uh, what what's going on, like how many points were scored by them, how many points were scored by us, and we just knew that each war we just had to keep going and going and and just keep chipping at the lead, and then eventually, you know, our, our depth just pulled away and we just got we got the win. And in the earlier game, number two Georgetown survived a scare by Creighton. They pulled it out 55 to 60. John, what were the keys for Georgetown closing out that game? Well, I think when you look at it, 10 seed in Creighton, like the under the radar status that they were playing with. And when you're the 10 seed and you've played on Wednesday night, sometimes you're familiar with the rims. And they fought. They fought hard. James Milliken was fantastic. But what did it come down to for Georgetown? Devonta Smith Rivera had 25. DSR did what DSR does. But how about what I like to call the human U-Haul, Kim. Joshua Smith came in here and he just moved his way all over the paint late. 10 points. The game was 54 to 53. Key moment. They went down low to Smith and he finished right then and there and Georgetown moves on because Smith and Devonta Smith Rivera. March, you have to have leadership in this month and they got it tonight. Josh, the will to win. How did you guys have it tonight? Um, I mean, last year, you know, we we had a bad taste left in our mouth. You know, DePaul outplayed us when we, you know, exited the first round. And knowing, I mean, going into the game today, you know, watching the game yesterday, we knew we were going to play a good team either in DePaul or Creighton. And, you know, Creighton ended up winning and just got to give it to them. You know, they played hard. They played the hard time. We found a way to win. How have you tried to embrace that role of being Mr. Reliable? Uh, it's been great. I mean, you know, at times like that, you know, that's where, you know, they say the great players come alive. So, you know, that's what I want to do and continue to succeed at that point. It was a great night here at the Garden. We're going to have another great two games tomorrow night. First up at 7, Villanova and Providence will square off. And in the later game, Xavier and Georgetown will face off. Xavier has already beaten Georgetown twice this season. So it's going to be interesting. If you can't join us here at the Garden, make sure you tune into Fox Sports 1. For John Fanta, I'm Kim Adams reporting for the Big East Digital Network.